Pastel de Ponsalan, your homeroom guidance teacher. Our lesson for today is about... Hello, my future self, quarter one, module four. This self-learning module has six indicative tasks, which are as follows. First, let's try this, which will help you to get ready to learn. Second, let's explore this, which will guide you towards what you need to learn. Third, keep in mind, which will give you the lessons that you need to learn and understand. Fourth, you can do it, which will help you apply the lessons learned in daily activities. Fifth, what I have learned, which will test and evaluate your learning. And sixth, share your thoughts and feelings, which will help you express your thoughts, opinions, and feelings. Make sure to read, think, follow, and enjoy every test that you are asked to do. Have fun, stay safe, and healthy. At the end of the session, you are expected to 1. Identify the factors to be considered in planning a future career. 2. Recognize the importance of family, peers, media, significant persons, and socioeconomic status in choosing a profession. And 3. Appreciate the importance of understanding the different factors related to life and profession. This module aims to give you an overview on career planning, knowing more about self, looking closely with your desired future profession, and setting for an action plan perhaps may better encourage grade 7 students like you to be serious in taking careful little steps in planning your career. Now, let's begin with your first activity. Let's try this. Suggested time allotment is 10 minutes. The title of your activity is What do you want to be when you grow up? Part 1. Copy and answer the table on a clean sheet of paper. Write also your answers to the processing questions that follows. There are three columns. First, write the top three most preferred careers. Next, required skills or training or education. And people who will help you to achieve this career. Here are the processing questions. One, is it Easy for you to think of your future career? Why or why not? Number two, how will you achieve your most preferred career? Three, how can other people help you in achieving your future career? For your next activity, let's explore this. Suggested time allotment is 20 minutes. Copy and answer the table on a clean sheet of paper. Write also your answers to the processing questions that follow. The title of your activity is What do you want to be when you grow up? Part 2 Here are the processing questions. 1. Identify two columns that are most influential to you in choosing your career. 2. What do you think are columns A, B, C, D, and E all about? 3. What are your realization in doing the activity? Next, read, keep in mind. There are many factors that may affect the career planning process and your choice of career. It is important that while you are discovering your interests, personality, needs, values, and skills, you are also aware that other factors may influence your choice of career, your family, peer, socioeconomic status, and the media may influence your future decision. Now, let's have the first, which is family. Your parents, siblings, and other relatives may give some recommendations or advice regarding the best career for you. They may provide you with other options and opportunities. Before making your decisions, it is important that you talk to your family. Next, peer. Your peer may also influence your choice of career in the future. They may have the same interests as you do. 
and they may help you in choosing the best option. They may help you in finding relevant information about your most preferred career. Treat socioeconomic status. Your family's socioeconomic status is also a factor in choosing your future career. In the career planning process, it is important that you consider the expenses or training, daily expenditures, and the amount that is allotted for your education or training. It is essential that you familiarize yourself with scholarships and other opportunities that may help you in achieving your future career. 4. Media Radio, television, newspaper, and online platforms may give valuable information about the career that you would like to pursue. You may look into the labor market information locally and globally, business opportunities, and other related training programs that you can participate. Last, significant persons. There are people in your life who may leave a great impact on the way you see yourself in the future. A common example is your favorite teacher or guidance counselor who inspires you to strive harder in your studies. It can also be your spiritual leader who believes in your ability and talents. A significant person can be anyone who makes you pursue the best version of your future self. Now, let's proceed on your next activity. You can do it. The suggested time allotment is 10 minutes. Title of your activity is Draw Your Future Self. On a clean sheet of paper, draw your future self. You may include your uniform, tools, and equipment, your work environment, and the people in your working environment. Next activity, what I have learned. Suggested time allotment, 5 minutes. Complete the following to express your takeaway or insights about the lesson. The title is Planning for My Future Career. And for your last activity, share your thoughts and feelings. Suggested time allotment is 5 minutes. Share 3 aspirations for yourself. Today, I learned about blank. I feel blank because that's all for our today's video lesson. Thank you for watching.